Hey, what's up guys? Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number 15. Of course, we already know this is midterm week, so what you can do is watch any previous videos leading up to this video, of course, and that will be your prep. And I want to go ahead and give you this video right here just to go ahead and explain some more things about Pro Tools since I know it's very important to know as much as you can. So what we're going to do is fire up your Pro Tools and we'll get started. All right, guys, so hopefully you have your new session brought up, or actually just a session brought up. It could be an old session. We're going to be learning Boom, which is actually a drum machine that's built in Pro Tools. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely a useful tool. Let's go ahead and start by creating a new track. Go ahead and do a Command-Shift-N. Go to your Audio Tracks area, Instrument Track. Let's go ahead and make this a stereo track and hit create and there it is down there uh, another thing I want you to do is go ahead and hit solo so you don't get any of the other tracks playing and we'll go ahead and insert a new instrument which will be our boom so there it is so go down to instruments boom here we are grabbing boom here it is Okay, cool. So this is a drum machine. It's uh, actually very, very handy. Uh, what's great about Boom, just to kind of start off with so you get an idea, whatever your BPM is, Boom will automatically match that and sync with it. So uh, there's no uh, adjustment to change the tempo here. It just automatically syncs with uh, whatever's going on in your song, in your tempo area. Okay, very cool. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and explore first is something that's called a pattern matrix. Okay, and as you see, you have kick, snare, rim, clap, uh, close hi hat, and so on. And that's actually right here in the channel strip right here. So this is this is the the pattern matrix. This area right here is the the channel strip. Okay, and this is where you're going to be, uh, you know, either adjusting your your sound or the the pattern itself. Okay. So what the pattern matrix is, it's a visual guide. Uh, so that you can see all your tracks going on, or actually all each channel going on at once, and you could adjust your pattern. Okay. Now, you, as you can see right here, where it says kick, you'll see um, at the beginning of every measure. If you could tell that this is this is one measure right here, this is another measure, and in total we have four measures here. At the beginning of each measure, you have a kick for a four on the full floor uh, beat. Okay. And um, you have a you know your snare going on every uh, second measure, and and so forth. You know you can definitely tell that um, you have a hi hat going on every what is this eighth note I believe. So going playing throughout the entire uh, you know four measures there. So pretty easy to understand the layout of this. Uh, so this is a visual visualization of what's going on with the pattern. That's what the what this uh, matrix is all about. Now right below that. What you have is the swing, which will, you know, kind of just adjust the, um, a little bit of the rhythmic pattern of this, you know, kind of just add a little bit of a, a different vibe to it. You know, if it's sounding a little too uh, quantized, you can just adjust the swing a little bit to give it more of a humanized type of vibe, you know. Uh, you don't want to mess with this too much and change the swing too much, then, you know, your music will be sounding a little bit off if you're, uh, if everything else was played to, let's say, a click track. Okay. Next. What we have here is the volume knob. Obviously, we already know what this means. <laughs> you know, you're going to be able to, you know, raise and lower the volume. Okay. And then next to that, we have the dy dynamics. And what this is, it allows us to change the velocity of the of the hits uh, on each one of these. It does it as a whole. Okay. Now below that, we have our drum kit selection. So all you need to do is just uh, take this little triangle, and right here you'll see that we have ten uh, very nice. Uh, drum kits, okay. Below that, what we have is something called a transport bar. Now, with the transport bar, it's just it works just the same way that the transport bar originally wor would work right here in the range window or wherever you have that transport bar. You have a stop and a play or start function, and then you have some uh, other options for speed. So let's go ahead and play something. And what uh, one times means, or, or you know, times one, what this means is just playing at regular speed. Let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. Okay, now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to move uh, this over or switch this over to, uh, let's see, twice as fast, double speed, hit play.
Okay, that's uh, you know pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and move this down to half speed. Hit play or start. So you know you get you get some control there with the with the speed function. Then you have your edit mode, which uh, you know right here you have first you have your pattern select and then you have your pattern editor and once you move it down you can easily see how things change on this uh, particular channel strip so you you can go ahead and arrange and change your pattern with this now next what we have is this channel strip now with the the way this channel strip works which is pretty neat you can go ahead and you know work with the panning on each one of these sounds. So right here we have a kick, we have a snare, we got a rim, and you're able to change the panning, adjust the panning, left and right. Obviously you have a level or volume. Okay, below that you have the tuning. So this is going to be about like the pitch of the sound. And then below that you have the decay, which would be exactly more like the the release kind of of that sound as well. You also have options to just audition each sound um, either solo or you would mute something just to help you arrange your pattern okay now what's also great with boom is you ha have the ability to customize your kit so if you like the way everything sounds in the electro kit but you don't like the, the kick you can go ahead and switch the kick to whatever, whichever kick you like so you essentially have control and customization uh, over each kit which is pretty nice now, there's kind of this hidden feature, which is this, this little screw right here. Uh, now, if you're looking at the screw, what it actually allows you to do is affect or adjust the tonal quality. As you see right there, it's this quick adjuster. Uh, adjuster. It allows you to adjust the tonal quality of that kick. Okay, so I'll go ahead and, uh, let's see, I'll hit play or start. Hit solo so you just hear the kick. So it's actually pretty interesting uh, how you could do that with each and every one of these sounds. You know, um, it's one of these kind of like hidden features, but definitely handy. Gives you a little bit more control. Awesome. So each each one of these will have these functions in it, and you can go ahead and as you if you're looking at it by default, it's already kind of pre-mixed for you, which is pretty nice too. Kind of gives you a starting point. But of course, my number one recommendation is for you to go ahead and take the time to mix it down yourself. Uh, you'd of course you'd get a much better result than whatever you know factory presets are actually uh, you know set up for you. Okay, cool. So next, what we're going to go ahead and do is learn how to put down your patterns that you make in the mix. All right. So all you need to do to put your pattern in the mix is to go ahead and uh, just slightly move over your 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 boom drum machine, or actually you could even probably just close it down. Let me just go ahead and bring that down and you would go to your piano roll you might want to resize this probably do jumbo or something like that so you see everything nice and easy and you want to start at C3 and you want to go ahead and start up your pencil tool as well um, there's other ways of doing this I just suggest you know you clicking onto your pencil tool and then once you do that uh, go to C3 right here click that oh, here it is I don't know why it left and then just draw on your note now what this note is actually your pattern. So all you need to do is hit return and you can hear your pattern. And that's it. I mean, if you have other patterns that you've created, uh, obviously you could add those in and uh, create a progression in your song. So uh, let's go ahead and listen carefully. I'll actually set up a couple. Actually, I'll set up these two so you can hear the difference, It'll make it a little bit easier. All right. You hear the slight variance or the difference. Let me go ahead and move this so you can hear a, a much different pattern. That sounds good enough. So as many patterns as you have, you can arrange them in your piano roll in the uh, arrangement window. And just, you know, pencil in wherever you want to make the changes in your patterns. Let's go ahead and hear this. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's the way you would use Boom 
in Pro Tools. All right, guys, that's all the lesson detail I have for you for right now. But of course, there's plenty more videos coming along in the future, so look out for those. And remember to always try to find more information about your lessons online. And while you're online, don't forget to check out Music is My Oxygen for all the things that you care about in the world of music. And until next time, have fun, study hard, and keep your eyes on your goals. I'll catch you guys on the next video.